The second summit between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un ended in failure on Thursday with the two sides far apart on the central issues of disarmament and sanctions relief. The abrupt end to the Hanoi meeting, which was cut short by several hours, was a setback from both leaders who had made long journeys, Kim by rail and Trump by air, in the expectation that a deal was within reach. There are no plans for a third summit. But the U.S. has expressed willingness to continue talks at a lower level. The collapse of the two leaders' talks came suddenly. Late on Wednesday night the White House circulated detailed plans for negotiating sessions, a working lunch and a signing ceremony for a joint agreement. When the two leaders reconvened on Thursday morning, however, they appeared somber and cautious about whether a deal was possible. A few hours later, the summit was called off. The signing ceremony was cancelled and the official lunch left uneaten. Table settings and name cards went unused in the empty dining hall of the Metropole Hotel, the summit venue, as the leaders made their way back to their own hotels. In his version of events, Trump said the deal had broken down because Kim wanted complete sanctions relief for dismantling the main nuclear complex at Yangbyon. But the U.S. wanted other nuclear facilities, including covert sites, disabled as well. It was about the sanctions basically, Trump said at a press conference in Hanoi. They wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. Sometimes you have to walk, and this was just one of those times. There is a gap. We have to have sanctions, he said. There is a gap. We have to have sanctions, and he wants to denuke. But he wants to just do areas that are less important than the areas that we want. North Korea disputed Trump's version of events. At abruptly scheduled midnight press conference in Hanoi, the North Korean foreign minister, Rai Yong-ho, said Pyongyang had only demanded partial sanctions relief in return for closing Yangbyon. He said the U.S. had wasted an opportunity that may not come again, and Pyongyang's position would not change, even if the U.S. seeks further talks. Trump, however, made clear that the status quo will continue, with North Korea continuing to suspend nuclear and missile tests, while the U.S. will not take part in joint military exercises with South Korea, which the U.S. president is opposed to anyway.